On our index page, we have a repeating group that shows us all the recipes our users post to our application. But now that we have the upvoting capability, we want to let our users sort through this repeating group so they can find the recipes they're looking for. To do this, we'll add in a dropdown, which is under our input forms. We'll select the dropdown element and draw it into the All Recipes group. In the property editor for the dropdown, we'll change a few things. First, we'll rename the placeholder to say Sort Recipes. Next, we'll leave the choices style as static and enter them one line after the other by typing in alphabetical, most recent, and most popular. With this dropdown built, we need to come into the repeating group itself and edit the settings for it so we are not just doing a search for every single recipe. Right click on the data source and copy this expression. Then in the conditional tab, we need to define some conditions based on the dropdown. By searching for the dropdown, we'll be able to find it, and we can select it and get its value. We can then compare its value by manually typing in one of our three choices that we filled out in the dropdown. Since these are static choices, what we type in here will be case sensitive. Since we're in the repeating group element, the property we want to change is the data source of the repeating group, which is where we'll paste the expression that we copied earlier. We then want to change the search to match what our dropdown says. If the dropdown value is alphabetical, then we want to sort by the recipe's name with a descending of no, so it shows us recipes from A to Z. Next, we want to set conditionals for most recent and most popular, so we'll do the same thing. We'll search for the dropdown's value, and we'll compare it to most recent. We'll then set the data source, paste in the expression, and then in this case, we'll actually leave it the exact same because most recent will show up first based on the created date with a descending of yes. We'll then add our final conditional, which will get the dropdown's value and compare it to most popular. We'll paste in our data source and we'll sort it by upvotes with a descending of yes. So the most liked recipe shows up top. Now when we preview the page and refresh, we'll be able to see our dropdown with all of our options. And when we click on the options, notice that our repeating group changes based on those conditionals, making it easier for our users to find the recipes they're looking for. Now all that's left to do is clean up our application before we deploy it live.